Welcome to the 11th tutorial based on the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. In the first part of this topic, debugging and optimization, we'll take a look at debugging with and without IB Expert and optimizing procedures. IB Expert has an integrated stored procedure and trigger debugger, which simulates running a procedure or trigger on the database server by interpreting the procedure and running the commands one at a time. It offers a number of useful functionalities, such as breakpoints, step into, trace, or run to cursor. And you can observe certain parameters, analyze the performance and indices used, and you can even change values on the fly. If you have Delphi experience, you will find your way around the debugger easily, as keystrokes, etc., are the same. In IP Expert, you simply step into the procedure, then, using breakpoints, run it in parts. Information is displayed in the lower windows. Don't forget, when you're running this, you're not running it inside the server, so there can be some subtle differences, but it is generally a very good impression of running it in the server. Basically, IB Expert is interpreting the procedure and issuing the commands one at a time. So it's an interpreted environment. And don't forget you can change values as you're debugging. We took a brief look at debugging in the last tutorial. If I wish to debug the table stats procedure, for example, I can go in here and jump through using F8 and see how each value is attained. Breakpoints can be set and even conditional breakpoints. For example, here, count larger than 30,000. If I reset here and hit F9 again, you can see the result here. Customer history is the first one found meeting the condition count larger than 30,000. Hit F9 again, and it shows the next data set meeting the conditions. So you can see that IB Experts Integrated Debugger is simple to use and makes life easier. It has many functions, which we will not be able to show you in this short tutorial, but which you can read about in the IB Expert online documentation. One feature I'd like to show you is, for example, when I take a procedure, search actor, take the original procedure and add an SQL. What does this procedure do exactly? Here it has, for example, an SQL command. Select first, where actor starting with. And in here, there could, for example, be further SQL commands. If I add, if price larger than 30, then begin, select max price divided by 2 from product into price, end. Although this may not make much logical sense, you can see now that the maximum prices have been halved. Important here, of course, is that the operations are written as independent SQL. And the SQL optimizer that Firebird uses is now forced to take this SQL apart, search for the relevant indices, if available, and to work out the amount of effort required to produce the results. If I take this SQL here, for select first, where actor starting with, and take a look at operations index using, the first select is grey, as an index has been used. The second is red, indicating that no index has been used, which means that a complete table scan has been performed. If I execute this and search for Yuma, and then take a look at the performance analysis, I can see that there were 240,000 operations performed on the product table, although there are only 10,000 records altogether in this table. Such a performance analysis with any procedure indicates you should urgently relook at and rethink your coding. If you look at the execution time, 313 milliseconds to achieve this small quantity of results and the effort of 240,000 operations, we need to rethink this select. By moving the select max price divided by 2 part up here and altering it, to as declare variable i integer, begin select max price divided by 2 from product into max price, 
and adding the variable max price numeric 182 and at the bottom adding then price equals max price we can avoid the classical situation creating a loop and in this loop basically constantly reinserting a lot of garbage please try to avoid mistakes like this now you can see that 10,000 operations are performed and here 56 indexed operations which were used to determine the maximum you could, of course, if wished, concatenate in an SQL with a case statement, but then you can't control what happens in which order. What we've seen here in Search Actor is that the first maximum should be determined, and after that, search through the data, and after that, meet the condition where the price is larger than 30, and then determine half the maximum price. This is fairly simple in a procedure, to determine the order of the formation of the data by the statement order. The problem is that the optimizer, which takes the statements apart, perhaps with many subselects which are concatenated with each other, often has the problem it doesn't know in which order the data is formed. I'll show you more about this in our administrational tutorial series when we look at performance optimization, as there are, for example, values that are in the database itself, which the database server later uses for its query plan. That is, the query order is defined in tables in order to arrive at the conclusion that the resulting set must begin with index X and then continue with index Y. Imagine the following situation. You have a database of all the inhabitants of Great Britain. You require a list of all men living in Little Bigton. How should the server process the query? The population of Great Britain is currently around 60 million. Approximately half are men. Should the server first select all men, which will be around 30 million, and then take these results and select all those who live in Little Bigton? Or should it first select all residents of Little Bigton, which, let's say, has a population of around 5,000, and then select all men? The best selectivity is, of course, to first select all residents of Little Bigton and then discern the number of males. The problem is that when you send the query to the server, it needs further information to help it decide how to go about executing the query. For this, it uses indices, and to decide which index is the best to use first, it relies on the index selectivity. Therefore, it is extremely important, particularly with new databases where the first datasets are being entered, to regularly, explicitly recompute the selectivity so that the optimizer can recognize the most efficient indices. This is not so important with databases where little data manipulation occurs, as the selectivity will change very little. And this is what the internal Firebird optimizer has to decide. It doesn't just hazard a guess, but uses the index information, which we will look at more closely in a later session. So it's sometimes helpful with extremely complex select commands to split it up and convert it into a procedure, as it offers many more possibilities. Debugging without IB Expert. Up to Firebird version 2.1, Firebird offers no integrated debugging API at all. The only solution was to create log tables or external tables to record what the procedure was doing and try to debug that way. However, as your triggers and procedures become more complex, an intelligent and sound debugging tool is vital. For those using older simple Firebird versions, 1.5 and earlier, you can create a simple log such as this one shown here. This is not a real debugger, but a helpful protocol, which you can switch on and off during runtime using a generator value. If someone has an error somewhere in the database, then set the debugging generator from 0 to 1, and it protocols the next execution in this log file. We'll continue now in part 2 of our tutorial, Debugging and Optimization. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert.